Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here, day two of my uh, of my head call. So I sound a bit husky, but I hope you guys can still hear me and understand me. Um, I want to do a video today about a what I think is a pretty fascinating technology they came across this week called the M Disk. Um, I don't know why I said it like that, the M Disk. Um, I came across this on the Data Hoarder subreddit, and that is like if you share my wacky interest in backup and data management. I know it's not the most glamorous subject, but it is super important, especially if you're someone who creates a lot of data. So whether you're a photographer or a videographer, and I'm now doing a lot of work in video, uh, you're creating lots of data and on a daily basis. Like right now I'm creating probably two gigs of video a day, right? And you want some way to keep that data safe. So um, people watching this video probably know the fundamental backup rule, three, two, one, you want one copy in the cloud, but for onsite, I've been looking for a while for some kind of an archival data format suitable for cold storage, right? So what I'm doing currently, or like most people, I have like most uh, data hoarders, I have an NES um, on my network and that's kind of what I use day to day, but um, I'm also dumping it onto these hard drives for cold storage. Now I did experiment with keeping one in a car for a month, uh, wacky experiments uh, to see if the data would be fine and uh, it was like fine but I wouldn't. So you can see here I wrote on an NAS offsite backup. So I, I create various types of data and the good stuff I'm putting up to the cloud etc. But there's a lot of stuff like I'd put this video in this category that I, I'm not super worried about it. Like I'm happy that it's on YouTube. I trust you know my YouTube account's not going to get deleted or whatever disaster could compromise that data. Um, but equally, equally I wanna have some decent copy of it. So I'm like okay with sacrificing, uh, not doing an offsite backup for uh, this kind of data. I know that's backup heresy, but anyway, so I've been looking for a while. I, haven't, I do have an NES on my network, but I've been looking for something suitable for archival, cold storage specifically. Now the problem with hard drives for cold storage, and by cold storage we we're talking about just leaving something on a shelf, not connected to electronics. The problem with hard drives and flash media generally is that as far as I understand, they store their data through magnetization. The, uh, the, the, the reader arm moves over the platters in the hard drive and um, uh, like puts a magnetic charge and that's how it actually writes data, obviously on a micro, micro, micro level. But if you just leave it cold, hard drives are really intended for living in computers where they're you know fired up regularly and the computer ideally also the operating system warns you of errors pretty much every operating system does that these days and so you can know okay the hard drive's failing need to get a new one or need to back up now so um i was looking for ages for like an optical sorry for like a storage media i came across a few things on the data hoarder subreddit um I know this is like a weird video because there's not really much going on. I'm just speaking. I am going to show a few things. So uh, bear, bear with me just for a few moments longer. Um, when it comes to cool data storage, LTO is commonly recommended. The problem with LTO uh, tape basically is that um, the drives are really expensive. They're like 3000 bucks and periodically LTO gets updated. And apparently, apparently, according to the Reddit people, according to what I've read elsewhere, they're actually also susceptible to bit rot or data on, so that's our enemy for cold storage. So apparently the very best thing for archival cold storage is this thing called the M-Disk. And the M-Disk is essentially a modified version of the DVD, as in the good old DVD, and the Blu-ray. So um, now I'm just gonna share some info I found about it from the internet. And I have ordered my M-Disk burner and my M discs. I'm going to do some, I plan on doing some pretty wild videos, wild by the standards of data geeks, putting M discs on the roof and stuff like that. But here's just a little bit of tidbits about what on earth this stuff is. So it's called M disc because it was de developed by a company called Milleniata. But the catch is that, well, it's not really a catch. The company's gone bankrupt. So Milleniata went back. So this doesn't sound like the most auspicious start, but hang on, it gets better. So Millenni Milleniata went bankrupt in 2016 but um, uh, they are still in existence. And the reason that is, is that their technology is proprietary, but it seems like they gave it over to, they're licensing it to Verbatim, which is very much an active data company. So what it is, so I said it's a, it's a, it's a kind of souped up 
DVD, uh, Blu-ray, uh, or uh, sorry, um, Blue Day, Blu-ray disc recordable, BDR, right? But um, so you do have to, if you want to work with this stuff, you do need to, you do need to buy a Blu-ray. So I don't really understand why you'd want to use DVD, given that Blu-rays can hold more and whatever. So I guess most people these days are probably using it for Blu-ray. So you'll want to get a Blu-ray. If you want to burn them, you're going to need a Blu-ray writer that can do M-Disc, says it's M-Disc compatible. I think you can read them. It says M-Discs are readable by most regular disk drives. So I think the process of reading them is quite easy. It's the, you need, it's, it's the writing that you need a special thing for because you're engraving into the special layer. And that's how optical media works. It's just engraving bits and bytes. So this is actually the best cold storage. Um, so the company did go bankrupt. As I said, it's not, not the most auspicious start. Now, what is the M-Disc? Well, the exact properties of M-Disc, I'm, I'm reading just the Wikipedia here, as you guys can see. While the exact properties of M-Disc are a trade secret, the patents protecting the M-Disc technology assert that the, the data layer is a glassy carbon, glassy carbon or glass-like carbon, and that the material is substantially inert to oxidize, oxidation and has a melting point of 200 to 1000 degrees Celsius. So I'm totally gonna put these heat these somehow as part of my, uh, my, my wacky testing. So people, I, I've heard, I, I have read some skepticism on Reddit, people saying, I don't know if they're really that much better than Blu-rays. I, I tend to believe they are, like it sounds like they've gone to a lot of effort and it does make sense that if they've gone into the, you know, gone through the effort of developing this R&D that they'd want to patent it. Um, so n none of this really sounds so suspicious to me, but they did testing. So the US Naval Air, see, I, I, I told you this would get more interesting. According, if you stuck with it, according to Laniata, the U.S. Naval Air Warfare Center. So this is pretty crazy, and the D and the DoD. So like the U.S. government is like, oh, this actually sounds pretty cool because if you think about it, tons of people need this stuff. Like governments, um, especially with compliance being such a big thing nowadays with GDPR and whatnot, uh, retaining data is like super important, and the cloud isn't always so viable. So this is like the old cloud. Um, but I, I, they're not they're not mutually exclusive. You could back up onto M disk and then do your offsite to something like AWS. Um, so according to Meleniata, the U.S. Naval Air Warfare Center of the DoD found that M disks are much more durable than conventional DVDs. The disks were subject to the following test conditions. So they put it up to eighty five degrees, and they did some kind of accelerated humidity testing. Also, the French National Lab of Meteorology and Testing. I don't know who these people are, but it's fascinating. So they've also been like playing around with them. Um, so this sounds less encouraging. The performance was better than several DVD brands using organic dyes, where discs were not always readable after 250 hours. So much less than glass DVD technology, Silex, which was rated. So this is another like fascinating thing. I only heard about this, re this, this thing called Silex. I have no idea if it still exists. Fascinated by it. The French, the French people said that this was like the best thing, Silex. And apparently it's a, like a glass DVD. I tried to research it, I couldn't find, I couldn't find it in production, but it did sound like um, Hollywood uses this to like burn the masters. So I, I don't know. I, I regard all this stuff as pretty interesting personally. So that's pretty much it. If commercial support, as I said, blah, blah, blah. Um, so Asus, LG, Pioneer, Verbatim make the drives nowadays. Um, and right, so there's another company doing the the actual media and Verbatim do it. Now, one, a, cu a couple more things that I wanted to show you guys. So this is a schematic from MDisc itself, their website, which is still up showing what they say the difference between an M-Disc and a regular DVD is, right? So regular DVD, it says here, standard DVD is polycarbonate layer. Um, the, the data is these bits and these, these bumps, basically. Reflective layer, adhesive layer, dye layer, and that seems to be, to me, where the problem occurs, and a corruptible layer that's vulnerable to failure. Now, from what I read, these are right once discs, so you just burn it once. Um, I'll probably figure all this stuff out when I actually get my hands on these guys. So they call this, it sounds super impressive. I mean, if, and if you think about it, Rock is like the king of cold data, right? You go to a historical site and stuff is are etched into Rock and it's still there. So that's the ultimate cold data storage, if you think about it. So they call this a Rock-like layer, but that's the trade secret. So we don't know what exactly the Rock-like layer is, but it's there. And then you've got the flashy polycarbonate layer. Um, one, just one more thing. This doesn't really add so much to it, but here's another 
and they brand themselves as the world's first permanent backup discs that lasts forever. That's a very bold claim. Now I plan on doing all sorts of wacky fun with my M disc, like putting them in. I'm gonna bury these things in like a park. I'm gonna like record a little YouTube video for the future as a joke and bury it. So I'm gonna do wacky M disc experiments, guys, coming up on this YouTube channel. Um, but this is another thing, it's pretty much the same. Okay, final thing I wanna show you guys is, so where would you, where would you buy these things just to show you? It's actually not so hard to find. Um, you can see what I've been searching for recently. I wanna get a depression awareness t-shirt. I did see that they came up, it's important to me. Uh, M-Disc writer or burner. I think this is the one I've ordered. So you can see like verbatim make them. Um, so you just have to see that they're M-Disc compatible, right? As I mentioned, don't just buy any regular uh, Blu-ray or DVD burner if, if you're using DVDs, make sure you see this so M-Disc support. So it, wasn't, it really wasn't hard to find these. Um, and what else did I say? Oh yeah, M disc. Um, I'll just do M disc, and let's see. Okay, here we go. So a fifty, just to show you guys the pricing, how much these things cost. You can see I've just purchased these. Um, they come in spindles of from. They come in like one packs, five packs, and spindles of twenty five, and um, they come in individual disc size up to one hundred gigs, right? So if I got a 25 pack of 100 gigs that would be getting me 2500 gigs or 2.5 terabytes of data for 256 bucks now compared to hard drives yeah they're more expensive i did the maths earlier this week it's like specifically actually five times more expensive than hdd but if it actually lasts forever or as they claim it's good value I um, just want to show you guys a few more products. These are pretty much the same uh, price as, as far as I can see. It's a, and they make them in uh, inkjet printable versions too. So yeah, I never heard about these before I came across this thread on Data Hoarder. So I'm super excited. Lots of M-Disc adventures coming up on this YouTube channel. So stay tuned for those. And thank you guys for watching another video.